and welcome to tonight's documentary, brought to you by the National Sh American Shotgun Association. I'm Tom. And I am Tom. And we're here to bring to your attention a growing epidemic that has been sweeping the nation for the past 5,000 years. The statistics? For those of you that don't think that shotgun-related deaths are a serious problem in this country, see this. If you type shotgun-related deaths into Google.com, you will get over 1,050,000 hits. That means that every day, 1,050,000 people die in shotgun-related deaths. This graph right here shows the city of Chicago starting at 2 a.m. right down to 2 p.m. We see a steadily rise over this 12-hour period. Wait, wait, this just in. We have a live reporter on the scene at Lake Vermilion of a terrible, terrible shotgun-related death. Over to you, Tom. What we have right now is actual footage of what actually happened, except it's a reenactment. For those of you with heart conditions, you may want to look away or die. Shotgun! Shotgun! I called it! I called it! I still called it! Oh, oh you can fuck it! I'm taking shotgun! I call it! No, seriously! I got shotgun! Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, now give me shotgun! Give me shotgun! Oh, uh, no, uh, uh, uh. Shotgunning became popular in the United States when the pioneers were traveling west across the United States and were pounced upon by friendly natives. The person who would be driving would be unable to shoot the natives whilst driving, so they needed a passenger on the side of them to shoot the friendly natives, and hence the phrase shotgun was coined. With the invention of the car, however, those driving in an automobile were able to outrun those limited merely to horses, and thus the actual carrying of a shotgun was no longer necessary. But the killings only escalated. But in modern times, quarrels over shotgun are about the seat itself. As we can see in our authentic, realistic reenactment of this 1930s mob fight. Tom, the footage? simple car seat. Well, isn't it obvious? You're right. Shotgun. Ah, shotgun. Because of this, we at the National American Shotgun Association have composed a visual constitution of the laws governing the seat of shotgun in order to solve the quarrels in a more sophisticated manner. Pay attention to these rules. They just might save your life from dying. The footage, please, Tom. The basic rule for shotgun is you need to vocalize the word shotgun whilst approaching the vehicle. The first person to vocalize the words shotgun should, by all rights, be legally entitled to sit upon the blessed throne. Oh, 
Come on, dude. Right there. Dude. Shotgun! Shotgun, dude! Cold! 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 Dude! No, dude, you're inside. I get shotgun. Shotgun. Crap, he's right. Dang it. Oh, shotgun, shotgun. I'm trapped. I got my plunger. Dang. Shotgun. I got it. I got shotgun. Oh, crap. Oh, you went inside. You went inside. I called it. Americans. They forget that in Ireland we use Monopoly money and have the shotgun on the other side of the car. <laughs> well, if you get shotgun, that means I have to figure out how to drive on this side. <laughs> for it. Belly check. Let's see who's really pregnant. Legitimate. Shotgun, to ride that shotgun. 